than these two over here. Ordered ice cream. There are some very big places that heat comes in the RV. We're in the New Orleans City Park, looking for the amusement park. This is the sculpture garden. It's a labyrinth. This is your spot, Mom. Where we going? I see Bo Peep and Humpty Dumpty. Seems like a kid's amusement park. Whoa! <laughs> he yanked him. Uh-huh. He's got it banked. He's got it banked. Does he look like he's having fun? I can't. I don't, I'm not sure if he knows. Yeah. Look, that's going up. Pull it back on the, yeah, pull it out on the handle. There it goes. Is that fun? I want to do another one. We'll keep going. Come on, we'll come back. We got more to see. stationary horse. It's not that we're not having a good time. We've just had all the good times we can have. We've eaten all the gumbo we can eat and it's so hot. It's, that's most of it is the heat. You know, 11 hours of driving in front of us to get home and getting a dent into that is probably a decent idea. It's just so hard to like put a point in a trip and say, let's end it now. 
I know. I'm it's honestly been fun. just like keep going, but I yeah. feel antsy and I want to move. Seven days in New Orleans was awesome because we did plenty, but honestly, like... It was more than we needed. Staying seven days makes it feel less like we're on the road. You start to get settled and yeah. it's not the same. It doesn't have the same... It was you know. relaxing. It's the heat. I could be here longer. That's true. If we could hang out outside of the RV and not melt. That's true. That's we're going to go hard on some dinner tonight. I'm going to eat a bunch of oysters. We're going to go out to breakfast tomorrow. Go out for breakfast and reevaluate if we want to leave or not. Yeah. That's, that's the plan. It's been fun though. New Orleans is sweet. We should so come back. cool, yeah. We should come back in it's October. Cooler. I see you yeah. by Mardi Gras. It's a good time of yeah, year. Yeah, good time of year to be here. Incredible. So we can't just cook our own egg and then head out of town. That would be where are we going? So Cafe Florida We're just gonna try to haul it home. We're gonna get as far as Monroe, Louisiana, which is Ducks Unlimited Country. No, Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. Ducks Unlimited Country is the whole country. Is that something else? Yeah, that's just a nonprofit. It's duck those country. stupid duck guys. It's actually a cool town. And one time I went on a trip there, and I was in the side of town that's not the duck people and it's like got a little historic downtown and all kinds of cool stuff that's the plan for the day the end new orleans has been rad good food excellent food best food like if you like food from here oh my god i've gained so much weight on this trip for <laughs> sure i lost weight on the last trip because oh, we were in the desert can, can we get some beignets to go beignets yeah Before we'll, we'll we make that happen now. all right to the uber with their breakfast choices. Yes. Thank you. I got Jimmy's breakfast. Oh, it's good, dude. It looks really yummy. best breakfast Casey's grits that oh, he got dude, that was insane. were the best grits I've ever had I couldn't figure out what it was it was just so much butter and like cream and cheese we're gonna be making grits at home until we grits and jambalaya get something perfected. close to that at least I don't think we'll ever be at that level of grits Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like closed. Yeah, there's water in the road, and there's a train blocking every road. <laughs> <laughs> it's just stopped. It's stopped, yeah. It's there's not just like train crossing, it's like the train stopped. There's not a sign behind me. I'm going the wrong way, the wrong way. That's how we're getting out of this. Yeah. Here's the train in question. Yeah. We're just driving off access to half the backwards down some one ways. Because this is not backwards. Head west on Elmanaster Avenue for police assistance. Head west on Louisa Street. The roads are really bad. We've done like this much research on RVing to Mexico and everybody always talks about the road quality being really poor and just kind of like unexpectedly like you'll be driving and then all of a sudden the road is just like not really a road. Well that just happened here. That's happened to us in multiple places. <laughs> and it happens again. all over the place and I just I, I wonder. this is how all, not all of Mexico, but a substantial portion of your driving in Mexico is on roads like this. Possibly. That's how important my art was. Yeah. I just think it's funny to me that people say that, like, where are they driving their RVs? I guess not down the streets in New Orleans. They're closed for the day and all day tomorrow, so no wine for us. But it's you have a right. Beautiful. Look at that. This is huge. It's like a wedding venue. Look at all oh, the those. vineyards. That's cool. That's a lot. A lot of times the vineyard and the winery are separate. It's parked parallel to the vineyards in between the cups. If that's spot taken, take spot number two, and so on. We've been clear. And they're like, there's enough room. No worry. Can't come, don't come. Don't call us. <laughs> so I pull up between one and two. Yeah, I think so. Wow, what a view. This is the prettiest harvest host I think we've ever stayed at. That's no beautiful. Kidding. That's cool. Holy moly. It feels like a harvest host. Now we gotta block any out any remaining sun, turn all the fans on, and keep it cool in here. High priority situation, and then make dinner. It's like, what time is it? 6.30. Definitely the coolest harvest host we've ever stayed at. Everybody's super well rested. That was the worst sleep I've ever gotten in the RV. Not me. After our hottest night in the RV ever. Like it wasn't bad, this place is peaceful and quiet, but it's just hot. It's like in the 90s when we went to bed last night. It's hot. Everyone's hot. It's still hot. It's getting hotter. It's time to go home. lunch with an airplane. We stopped at the B-17 Memorial. Memorial. Veterans Memorial in uh, Sheridan, Arkansas. So we're in Arkansas? Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah, we're only today. three hours from home. We come soon. Come mm -hmm. for dinner. 
Don't get dinner, guys. It's hot. Check that they're flashing. They're just solid, right? Okay. It's a hot day, and we've been well, driving this is usually all day. Yeah, when it says hot, usually is when the fan kicks in the high gear, which. I don't have anything. Voltage is fine. Oil pressure is normal for when it's idle. We'll see when it's up to speed. Temperature's okay. I mean, it was climbing fine. Yeah. So that one hill. How did you drive with your flashers already? O2 sensor circuit, low voltage. Does that mean anything? Yeah, it's not getting much oxygen. God, people could get older. I don't give a shit. I clear the codes. That would be a real problem. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. I mean, you know better than I do. Okay, what? It's either legitimately not getting enough oxygen. So it like runs a test. It might be like actually reducing the engine power. I'm gonna clear the trouble codes. Okay. Let's see if it'll let it drive a little bit. Do you guys know you can tr control your car from your phone? Needs a new battery, so you guys get a break from all this. Don't do it. Oh, did it get it okay? It's just gonna go real easy on it. Okay. Okay. I cleared the codes, reset the engine. It was showing an oxygen sensor, which can't happen if it gets over temp. to the county that we live in. We're so close to home.
thinking that I'm taking pieces home. Well, my phone died, so this is the music. I fixed it. No, you have to actually turn it off. That's how it keeps dying. Oh. I'm so excited to see the roof on the house. We got a new roof. We haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah. We got a new roof. We made it home, even though the engine tried not to take us home. Man, I thought they were releasing these things this summer. I guess some of them are done. I'm ready for there to be restaurants in there. I saw that Bentonville bought a billboard that said Bentonville, found biking capital of the world. And I just want to let everyone know that anyone can buy a billboard that says that. And that Fayetteville is actually cooler and you can mountain bike just as much here. <laughs> the last the last week was very long. Yeah. Tell them bye, Mom. Bye, guys. When we came home from our last big trip, there was a frog living in Henry's toilet. Nature just sort of takes back over, you know? And so now there's something in my bathroom that I'm going to show you. I don't know. It looks kind of alive. I'm only going to be trapped down here, little bro. Let's go all the way. <gasps> Okay, that will come up. <laughs> we do get our house treated for like bugs and stuff, but I can't remember the last time they were here. Be free. Be free. Be free. <laughs> Look, nature. You're out of the bathtub. Look, you're so camouflaged. You belong here. Wow.